Hello friends and welcome back. Today I am going to demonstrate the working of a humidity sensor. So let's get started. Hope it turns out to be fun for all of us. First go to controlfthing.com and search for HIH6130. HIH6130 is a humidity and temperature sensor. Click the subsequent link that follows. These are some of its features. Today, I am going to interface HIH6130 with Raspberry Pi using Python. So, for our Python code, go to Resources and under Python Code Sample. The code can be downloaded from here as zip file or it can be found on GitHub. First, go to github.com and search for Control Everything Community. This is our repository for controleverything.com on GitHub. Search for HIH6130. Under Python, we have our Python code. Click it. And this is how our Python code looks like. Now let's proceed further and see what kind of hardware do we require for our project to work. For our hardware implementation, first of all, we require a Raspberry Pi. These are the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. Next, we need an I2C adapter. This I2C adapter is available on controleverything.com. The purpose of using an I2C adapter is to simplify the connection between various I2C devices and Raspberry Pi. To make a connection between I2C adapter and Raspberry Pi, put the I2C adapter onto the GPIO pins and press gently. Next, we need our sensor that is HIH6130. For making connection, we require connecting cables. Make sure while you make connection that the brown wire of the connecting cable is connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes to the I2C shield. Next, to power up the Raspberry Pi, we require a micro USB cable. This is a micro USB cable. Insert it into the power jack of the Raspberry Pi. To provide Raspberry Pi with internet capabilities, we need a LAN cable. Insert the LAN cable into the Ethernet jack of the Raspberry Pi. If it happens so that you don't have a LAN cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module. So this is all we need for our project to work. Now let's proceed and see how to interface our sensor with Raspberry Pi. To interface our sensor with Raspberry Pi using Python, we require a Python code. For our Python code, go to github.com and search for Control Everything Community. This is our repository on GitHub for controleverything.com. Search for our sensor HIH6130 and click it. And under Python, we have our Python code. Before we jump into the code, I would like to tell you that I have imported and used SMBus library on Raspberry Pi. A link is provided so as to help for the installation of the library. I would recommend you to install the library first before you, you jump into the code. Now let's see how our Python code looks like. Go to Python and click hih6130.py. So here it is our Python code. First I have imported SMBus library. Now I have imported time for delay. Here I am creating an I2C bus and now I am reading 4 bytes of data back from the sensor. The first byte being MSB of humidity, the second being the LSB of humidity, the third being the MSB of temperature and the last being the LSB of temperature. The raw data is converted into a valid data according to the formula given into the data sheet. Here I am outputting my data onto the console of the Raspberry Pi. Now, Let's see how to upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi. To upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi, first copy all the code and go to terminal. Here, using VI editor, create a file with a name same as that of your sensor, that is hih6130 and .py extension. Paste your code and save your file. To run your file, type python and the file name. Here is our output. If I put my finger onto the sensor, the value changes. 
and again. Now that we are done with the interfacing and working of HIH6130, let's talk more about it. HIH6130 is a very high precision for humidity measurement. It also has a very wide range of temperature measurement. It finds many applications in different fields like in respiratory therapy, air compressor, weather station and the list goes on. For any query or comment, you can contact us on controleverything.com. Make sure to post on our community page. We are happy to serve you. The sensor can be purchased from controleverything.com. For more interesting articles, follow us on our Instagram tables. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At the end, take care and thanks for watching.